If your child is starting violin with the book We Violin, I just wanted to talk through the five fundamental steps that we are learning before we start playing the violin with the bow, okay? Before we start making sound on the strings. So first is to work on our posture. It's really important how we, we hold our bodies and how we hold our instrument so that we don't injure ourselves. The violin is it requires kind of awkward motions and such, so you wanna do it in the most natural way. And that is what we were working on from the very beginning. So the posture that we're learning about, we are calling mountain posture. Okay, we wanna be secure. We want to have a strong aligned back. We wanna be balanced between foot to foot. So they will be learning to place their feet underneath their hips. So there will be a little bit of space between the feet and they should be able to feel the ground underneath their feet. So we practice this by bending the knees and feeling the ground beneath us. We also want to elongate our spines. Okay, and so we're gonna do that by growing tall towards the sky like a tree, okay? So we put our hand in the middle of our head and we go upwards, growing towards the sky. Next, we will be swaying back and forth on both feet to kind of establish that even though we're rooted in the ground, we are still free to move and we have um, that relaxed state. Fourth is just to breathe while we play the violin. So we practice inhaling and exhaling slowly out of the nose. So our song that we sing and do these steps in is called Little Birch Tree. The second fundamental that we learn is the violin seat. This is what we call the process learning how to hold the violin properly. So to keep that elongated spine and good mountain posture, we will be bringing the violin above our head and then coming down. Instead of coming from below and placing it, we are more likely to have an elongated and strong posture if we bring the violin from our head. So there'll be another video that walks you through the steps of the violin seat and how to make sure that the violin is being held right. The song that we sing that goes along with the violin seat is this one. La, 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 la. There aren't any specific words. We just sing that melody along with the steps. So our third fundamental, fundamental is the violin hand. The violin is held with the left hand. So we'll be doing exercises that pretty much just get our fingers to curve and then place. That's what we want. So we might start with owl eyes and then we have our fingers curved and just tap those fingers on the thumbs. You can tap the fingers on a table, um, tap them on your shoulders. We really just wanna be feeling the motion of the fingers dropping instead of the hand doing everything. So eventually we will put the violin up and tap on the side of the violin, the wood. So we get bop, bop, bop. And we practice that with the song, Third Little Mouse. The fourth fundamental is the bow hand. So how we hold the bow is very, very important. We want it to be natural and relaxed, but also very strong and flexible. So there are lots of different songs that we sing to practice how we hold our bow. Um, one of them is Hop Old Squirrel. You will probably hear lots of songs working on the bow hold though because it is very important and there are different steps that we'll be going through to get it to its final um, placement. Finally, the last fundamental that we will work on before we start playing songs is focus. So we will review mountain posture, violin seat, the violin hand, the bow hand, and our focus. So for focus, we work on this song called Still, 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 where essentially we place the violin, place the bow, and just practice staying still in that proper position. So those are the five fundamentals that we start with in We Violin, and then after that, you will start hearing some beautiful music. Hope this helps.